and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I cover all things PCOS and different lifestyle musings. Today, I have a very exciting video because it is the first of its kind. I'm doing some of my current favorite things. I did a poll on Instagram and 100% of you answered back that you would like to see my current favorite things. So I was like, sweet, let's do it. Okay, first are these Course X um, Acne Pimple Master Patches. Now, I've been using these ones, um, and I got these on Yes Style, which I'll link down below. I have a discount code with them. But I've been using these ones for forever. These are so cool. Basically, if you have a pimple that's just popped, instead of it just, like, letting it air dry or, like, spread to other areas, you put this on it, and it, like, sucks up, like, all the pus. And so, like... By the next morning, let's say it's at nighttime or in the morning, whatever, you like peel it off and like the pimple, like I find if I get a pimple, let's say here in a few weeks and it pops like around the area, I'll also get pimples because the bacteria has spread, but this like really prevents that. But plot twist, they came out with these ones and these are just like, okay, so these ones are the clear fit master patch. And these ones, like, so these ones I think are thicker, so you can, like, definitely see them on your skin. But they're not that obvious. They're still clear. Um, and they come in, like, all different sizes. I should show what's in them. I'm, I, like, I'm obsessed with these. This is a brand new pack. I've only used one. But they look like this. So you can have, like, all different sizes depending on how big your zit is. But then, uh, so smart, they came up with these ones. And these ones are meant to be worn during the day. And I kid you not, like, you cannot see them when they're on. So they look similar, but you can already tell they're more, like, see-through. But these ones you put on. I don't wear foundation during the week, so I can't really vouch over makeup, although I don't think they'd work over makeup. Maybe under makeup? I don't know. But I put them on, and because they're so thin, they actually, like, blur out the zit. If you have a big red zit, you put this on and it like blurs it out because it's like an actual patch, but you can't see it. Like you cannot see it. So not only is it like sucking up oils from like the thing, but then it like kind of like covers up a pimple way better than any concealer can. Like it literally like blurs it out. Like it's like someone filtered it in real life. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. Next is my new ride or die sunscreen. I have tried so many sunscreens. I actually have a favorite sunscreen video that I did last year around this time. My dermatologist suggested this one and I am like in love. This is like my current favorite. It is, I know so many people use it as well. It's the Elta MD UV Clear SPF 46. And this is made specifically for people who have acne prone skin or oily skin. And it is, I'm just like, I really like that it's an SPF 46 and it just, makes your skin look so glowy and nice. Should I link all these things down below? I feel like I'll link them all down below for sure. Next, we have um, this brand, Lil Lilova. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. They sent me this in a PR package and I'm actually so impressed. So they are so cool. They are period underwear, which like, okay. This is how they look like, and I've tried these and tested them before I would show you them. But um, <laughs> they basically are in replacement for pads or a tampon. So like when you're on your period, they make like thongs, like hipsters, they make like all different styles, and you basically just wear these and you like throw them in the wash. I was not a believer, like when I got these, I'm like, there's like, this is gonna be a mess. Like this is not gonna work, but like, they're great. I, I've never tried period panties before and you guys know like I don't buy any like if you're new to this channel I don't really buy any like period products because I like using the reusable stuff. The only thing with this is I would size up. Check them out. Check them out. Before we continue, I just want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to be working with them again. 
You guys know that I have worked with Ana Luisa now for years and I'm just so continuously impressed with their quality of products, their like aesthetics and the fact that they're now a carbon neutral company, meaning everything they take out of the environment to make their products with, they put back in. And right now they are having a 15% discount site-wide for Mother's Day, which is really exciting. And I wanted to show you guys the pieces that I picked out for this. I wanna show you what I got, cause it's so cute. First thing, I'm actually wearing all Ana Luisa right now, I just realized. I wanted to specifically talk about this ring, which is called the Haley ring. And right now, because it's on sale, it's $73 Canadian. And it just reminds me of like summer vibes. You know, like beach vibes. Like, you know when you want to go to the beach and you want to have like a couple of cute rings on, but like nothing too like heavy. Like this just screams like coming out of the water, suntan, salt in my hair, and this ring. That's what I envisioned. But like jokes on me because will I be able to go to the beach this summer with what's going on in the world right now? Probably not. I also picked out this necklace. Um, which is so pretty. This necklace is called the Blair. And I'll just do a little thing. And it's basically like these ones are like a really light, light, light pink gemstone. And then, then the one in the middle is like different colors of like pink, purple, like a bluish color going straight down. And they're separate. So you can wear them like separately or together. And when I saw the name Blair, automatically in my mind, I thought of Gossip, Gossip Girl. And I was like, oh my God, Blair. But this is totally a Serena necklace. Like, do we not agree this is a Serena necklace? This is not a Blair necklace. For my mom! I got her this like really cute um, mama necklace. I'll just hold it like this. This one is $68 Canadian right now with the sale. And my mom is like me. We just like really like gold dainty jewelry. So check out their website. Everything right now is 15% off. Um, you guys know I love them. This is not the first time I've used them. So check them out. Anyways, let's move on. Next we have Merit Beauty um, and they sent me some things in PR as well and it comes with this like really cute little like carrying bag on your first order which is really nice but basically Merit Beauty is like a new clean beauty company and they're made with like without sorry like hundreds and hundreds of ingredients um, that they think are not that great for your skin which I really appreciate um, and they sent me like a blush and like a foundation stick and to be honest, of the two, like I actually really enjoy the blush. So I'm not gonna really talk about the foundation stick, but I am gonna talk about their blush because this is so pretty and I'm wearing it right now. Not that we can really tell. It's like this like dark purple kind of color. Here, let's turn the lamp off for a second so you guys can like, there we go. It's like this like dark purple kind of color. And I guess you could like do it like this, but again, for bacteria reasons, I use a clean finger. I just go in a circle and I tap it. And it reminds me of the cloud paint from Glossier, but like just silkier and like more glowy. Like the cloud paint isn't glowy, it's just like, light and gel like feelings like this is like more creamy oh my gosh i love this i wear this like all the time so if you are someone that's into clean beauty i would definitely and you need a new blush i would definitely check out this brand this this i picked up at my drugstore like a shopper's drug mart just because i was out of concealer and i just picked this up because it was on sale it's the rimmel london lasting radiance and it was like literally like six dollars. I don't even know what shade this is. I'm not good at I'm not good at this kind of thing. And the reason that it stuck out to me was because it says concealer and eye illuminator, and it's supposed to like not dry matte, but more um, like glowy. And you're not you don't have to like set it dry with or like set it with powder. And I don't really like the whole like powder under the eye look. Like I think it makes, especially as I'm aging and I have more wrinkles, like the powder under the eye thing is just not a vibe for me anymore. And so anyways, the coverage on this is not high. Like my MAC concealer is like way more coverage than this. This is like really light. It's like really good for day to day wear. I wear this every day to work and it's so light. But the thing that's crazy about this is one, the finish. It's not matte. It's like a clear kind of glowy. I just, 
it looks so natural it looks like you're like a little bit more awake and i love that i'm all for that so there's that but it doesn't crease like it does increase. I've never had a concealer ever, 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 ever do that. It does not crease. Next is, <laughs> this is again something I purchased. This is, I kid you not, my fourth tube of this. This is from Etude House. It's called My Lash Serum. Literally fourth tube. And this is very inexpensive, maybe $7. I got this off of Yes Style as well. And basically, this is for your lashes, but I use it on my brows and my lashes. And basically, it's like an oil kind of like serum that's meant to help promote like strength, like lash strength. But I've noticed that my eyebrows have grown in so much using this and that my eyelashes, like I'm not, I actually like after four uses, I can confidently like review a product obviously. And I, I wouldn't say that my eyelashes have grown lots, but they are like so much silkier. So like my eyebrows for sure have grown. Like I know it's not even for your brows, but my eyebrows, I'm, I'm telling you right now, have grown with this. So I put it on in the morning and in the evening. But when you, let's say, put this on in the evening and the next day you put on mascara, your mascara just glides on. I guess because your eyes are now like coated in like this like oil stuff. I just love it. Like my mascara just like, whoop, like it's so... It's so nice, and because it's so cheap, I'm just like, I cannot not buy this because now I have crossed the bridge to the side where my mascara just glides on in the morning, and I don't want to live a life where the mascara doesn't glide anymore. So now I feel like I'm bound to this for a very long time. Before PR, YesStyle actually sent me a bunch of eye creams to try out, and I'm honest, like I've never really like gotten into eye creams. There's something that like I just really don't think you need. I've always just used my regular cream. People I've talked to have said the same thing. Um, but this winter, for some reason, my under eyes were getting so dry. Like I think it's because I'm wearing a mask all day. I honestly, this I honestly because my whole life I've never had dry under eyes like ever. But I think it's because I wear a mask all day at work and it literally finishes right here. And I think the rubbing of the mask all day for some reason was just like doing something, something. So when yes, I was like, hey, do you want to try this out? I was like, send them my way. So they sent me five, but I'm gonna talk to you about my favorite three. One of them, which I believe is witchcraft. This one is the Centella Green Level Eye Cream from Purito. This eye cream is like super nice um, because the consistency and because of the applicator. I really like that it's a small applicator that I can just like put a little bit on my hand and dab it because I find that um, when the applicators are big or in a tub, like I'll show you now, you kind of get a lot of product on your hand and to put in that small area, you kind of waste a lot of product. I'd wear this one in the summer of the ones that I've tried because it's still creamy and it feels good, but it's a lot lighter in consistency and I can feel that. This makes my eyes in the morning feel so awake, so nice. So I tend to use this one in the morning. The second one I wanted to mention was this one from the brand I'm From and I use their toner, which I've the rice toner, which I've also now used many times and I'm obsessed with, but it's the Ginseng Eye, Eye Cream. And this one is like thick. Like I was mentioning like this one, it's hard to get a small amount. Like see, like when I do that, like that's a lot. Like I don't need that much for both eyes. So I end up having to like put some in. So I'm not really a fan of the packaging, but this is good for winter. Like if you have dry eyes, this, like this is going to be too thick for the summer. It is thick and it's so nice. This under makeup. Okay, this one is the Petit Fay. I'm definitely mispronouncing that. Collagen and Co Q10 Hydrogen Eye Patch with 98% with hydrogel. What that means, no idea. Does it work? It's scary how much it works. I've never used eye patches. To be honest, I still am not a fan completely because I just like think they're so, like they're not the best for the environment. Like even sheet masks, which I am gonna talk about, like I just use them very sparingly because I just think like, again, like it's just a lot of waste. Um, but these ones were sent to me and for those of you that like these kinds of things, I thought I would mention them. So it comes with like a little, 
spatula thing so you don't have to touch them but like they're so like juicy and thick I've never used these before and I keep mine in the fridge and you just put them on and honestly like the first time I used them again, my expectation was low because I'm like, everybody's on about these eye patches. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? When I took them off, you could actually see. So they go, let's say from here to here, the spot where this patch wasn't touching was like red and puffy. And like the other part was like all white. I was like, no, like, no. <laughs> No, and then I like tried again the next night and I was like, no, <laughs> like they actually like depuff and like change the color of like your under. I don't, I don't know the witchcraft. Next, this is a purchase of mine. These are the Essence. They're at like your local drugstore. They're $3 Canadian. They're $3 Canadian and I just wanted a lip gloss and I just, I was gonna buy one from Dior and it was $40. And I was like, before I spend $40 on a lip gloss from my hard earned money, let me try this one for $3. And if it's horrendous, I know. This is like, and I'd say it's the consistency of like a lip gloss meets lip oil because it's super silky, it's not sticky at all. It smells great if you're into that. Are we, let me turn this light off so you can, like, what? If you guys have watched literally my last like 10 videos, I'm wearing this lip gloss. Like I am obsessed with it. It's three dollars and there's so many shades i don't know what this one is because it's all rubbed off now because i've used it so much but it's like super sparkly and it lasts a very long time and it's so pretty it's so pretty and it's three dollars and in my books pretty and three dollars together it's done it's done next thing i purchased which you guys um have noticed as well is like super like glowy skin which i think i said a lot has to do with those pills that i'm taking if you haven't watched my Hello Eden review for PCOS, go and watch that now. I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. I wanted something that would make my face glow, but not look like I've put highlighter on. And so, and also was like oil free and didn't have like complicated ingredients that would make me break out because I find a lot of the like glowy products are oil based to give you that glow. And that's just like a disaster for my skin. I cannot use anything with oils. I tried this because my friend used to use this. It's the Prep and Prime Fix Plus Gold Light. So you guys can see that there's like all of this like sparkly gold, like little like really micro, micro, micro. Oh, there it is. Just pretty gold flakes. And basically um, you prep your skin so you wear that first under your makeup. So I wanted something that I can wear without makeup that let... Let me, yeah, let me emphasize that. I wanted something that I could wear without any makeup and my skin just looks so healthy and nice. So when I wear this alone, my skin looks so nice. Like I finally have found what I have been searching for for all these years. But basically by itself, like after your moisturizer, you just like spray this and your skin just looks so healthy and like glowy, but not like a highlighter. But if you put makeup on top and then again spray this, it just like gives your skin like this really nice glow. It's just like so natural and I can't wait to use this in the summer like with no makeup or like a light like tinted SPF and then this on like I just I'm so excited. This is it. <laughs> Don't look anymore. I have found it. I have found it. I want to talk about these face masks. Uh, these are also from YesStyle, but I purchased them myself. These are the Tea Tree Care Solution Essential Mask. And these are for acne prone skin, but I think this is targeted more towards like fungal acne because it has tea tree. And again, like this D is kind of eh on like tea tree and if it helps with like fungal acne. It definitely doesn't help with like cystic or hormonal acne. But this is like, I buy, I literally bought, I buy boxes of these because like they're coming from YesStyle, which I believe is in China. 
so like it takes like two to three weeks to come in so when i buy i just buy like bulks of them and i'm on my last one <laughs> it's okay more are coming more are coming this I've just noticed, especially with wearing masks all day, that around here I was getting like breakouts. And when I wear one of these a week or once, like twice a week, I don't know what, I don't know what's in it because again, it's not, you don't open it and smell tea tree. So you know it's like super, super refined, which is good because having those essential oils on your skin is just not good for your skin at all. All I know is that when I take this off, my skin is glowing all the redness completely died down. So I'm getting a lot of redness here because of the masks. When I wear this, I guess I keep them in the fridge too. The coolness, the mask itself, my skin looks like, like that Korean glass skin. This was sent to me in PR and again, low expectations, not for the company, but for myself. Um, this is the Mad Glam New York. And they so generously sent me um, this like at home gel nail kit so it's really cool it comes with this like little mini like uv light which like the only con to this is it for it to work you have to have it plugged into an outlet or into your laptop so you have to have like your laptop in front of you which is fine because i just like watch a tv show while i'm doing my nails and um basically it's like a gel manicure at home now I love getting my nails done. You guys have seen many of videos with many different colors. Um, but this year I wanted to cut down for multiple reasons. One, it's, it's expensive after a while and I'm trying to save for a house. But I never thought to do it myself because I'm just not good at doing my nails. And that's the truth. I'm just not, I'm just, I was never good at it. I'm not getting better at it. Um, so I'm gonna show you my nails right now, but you can't judge. So, okay, that's them there. Like, let's not judge, okay? Let's let's be kind let's be kind but like we i cannot like you guys can see right like i cannot do my nails but i can confirm that it lasts that the uv light works and i know that when i get the knack of this which i'm like determined to do i really want to get better because they have so many colors and it's just like so much more feasible and I just wish I had a friend maybe that just did it better than me. But like it's not horrendous. I just think I'm used to like having it professionally done. So like I know it looks like not the greatest because I'm picky. Like if someone did this to me, I would be like, I want my money back.